good morning children warm welcome to our e learning class last class we learned about plants today we will start our second lesson from doodle bug to tusker look at the screen we can see a picture on the screen isn't it you can see different types of creatures as well as trees and a small stream over there isn't it now we will see one elephant he is thinking her childhood the days and he is remembering about his friends in the childhood okay now let us see what he is thinking how interesting life in the forest was while trotting along with mum so many friends on the way we can see kittens friends on the screen that's that is chinnu the rabbit kelu the fox meenu the parrot mini the butterfly papu the bear cutie the deer okay now let us see what all animals we can see around us cat dog cow and a calf parrot goat rabbit buffalo frog hen duck donkey squirrel rooster horse fish pigs tortoise sheep goose etc isn't it then why we are keeping animals in our house there are some uses isn't it now let us see what are the uses of animals some animals gives us milk that is cow goat buffalo etc and we can drink the milk and we can make curd ghee butter cheese from the milk we can also make milk products like ice sweets etc also okay some animals gives us eggs that is hen ducks etc we can make different dishes also isn't it we love it isn't it now sheep gives us wool with the wool we can make woolen clothes like sweater blanket etc and some animals we use as food its meat we use as food isn't it for example cow buffalo goat sheep rabbit etc there are so many else also okay now some animals are used for carrying loads that is donkey camel ox bullock horse etc in some animals skin are used to make products usually we use dead animal skin for making leather for example snake goat sheep buffalo camel etc okay now from silk worm we will get silk products okay there are silk sarees dupattas etc and dog dogs guard our house he is a good security to us isn't it okay now the animals those we give milk is cow goat sheep buffalo egg hen duck meat goat cow chicken pig etc and some animals we are using as pets also dog cat parrot rabbit etc okay 
now see the cruelty against the animals wasn't it people buy and sell like commodities birds like parrot lovebirds pigeons etc and keep it in a cage for a lifetime many people kill animals for commodities like horn skin etc for the use of leather as well as some products also so cruelty isn't it now logging is when trees are cut down by humans so many animals like monkeys birds snakes are losing their homes they live in the trees and when the trees are cut down the animals have nowhere to live because of logging so many species of animals get extinct nowadays animals gives us food clothes etc they also even give company as a pet all as a pet still people often harm animals for amusement like monkeys elephants lions etc to do some tricks sometimes they are very cruel to tame them so our friends decided to conduct a meeting to protest against such cruelties many creatures participated in the meeting as part of the this protest food was prepared for all of them and food was arranged at two places as counter 1 and counter 2 let us see who are there in the counter 1 we can see zebra giraffe rabbit deer elephant etc animals are those animals herbivores animals are those animals which feed on plants leaves nectar seeds sap roots bark fruits and other natural foods for example cow goat deer horse elephant zebra etc now in the counter to we can see tiger lion leopard fox etc animals which depend on other animals for the food are called carnivorous animals for example dolphin leopard cheetah lion tiger now omnivorous animals some of our friends took food from both counters they are animals that eat both plant food and animal food and they are called omnivorous animals for example fox squirrel bear pig dog cat etc on the basis of food habit we can divide the animals into three that is herbivores carnivores and omnivores herbivores some examples are given for the herbivores here is cow goat sheep zebra giraffe buffalo ox elephant kangaroo horse deer donkey and for the carnivores lion tiger cheetah dolphin wolf leopard hyena seal and for omnivores dog cat bear fox pig rat squirrel crow duck etc now let us have a summary for the today's class animals around us uses of animals according to the food habit we can divide the animals into three that is herbivorous animals carnivorous animals and omnivorous animals so that's all for today